or I'm going to try taking just those two and see what I can do with smaller carbon arc rod. And in fact, it's easy enough to do right now. We can just do that because all we really need to do is turn the other ones off. So we got two of those on 110. It says 200, but I know it ain't putting that out. Let's just go down to 100. Uh, let's try some smaller rod. And like most of these torches, this one leaks. You'll find out with a lot of carbon arc torches, the air doesn't fully shut off. And you can rotate this a little bit. With this little uh, rod, I don't want to rotate it too much. I think I'll break it. I'd have to say you can actually do carbon arcing as a last groove out there with the 110 volt welder. Now, I also know that at that setting, we are drawing over 20 amps. So I'm gonna turn these down because we gauged this out earlier. When these are set at 80, it will peak out just about at 20 amps through what it puts out. Now, have I got that smaller. Yes, that's smaller. I'm going to drop down one more size. Because even if you're even if you're not doing a lot as far as the gouging, how deep, how hard, carbon arcing not used so much now. What it's really great for is unwelding. Because you can see where you're directing the arc and you can just run an anti-bead where it just melts the puddle that you welded before and pretty much just take the weld out. If you have a weld you want to remove and disassemble something, it allows you to just cut the weld out without tearing up all the rest of it. So it's, it's pretty handy. It's not used as much as it used to and after I try this I'm going to chat a little bit more about carbon arc. Again, air on time. Okay, so you can do it on uh, that. So let's try one welder. There's switch. Okay. Now we're down to one. I will try it with just one at 80 amps where it would draw 20 amps. I don't have a lot of hope, but we'll try it. That's kind of what we would expect. Okay. Let's imagine that we ran some 10 gauge wire and put a 30 amp breaker in it just like I got. Let's see what one of these will do by itself. It can do it, sort of. Not happy. Not happy. You wouldn't like it. But it actually wasn't too bad at the lower setting with both of them running.
Let's try that a little bit again. Okay. Two machines, 80 amps each, which I think they're lying. I don't think it's 80 amps. It says 80 on the meter. I think it's putting out closer to about 85 or 90 from the way it welded. That's actually a practical machine that you can do carbon arcing with out in the field. That's surprising you can do that with two 110 welders, actually. And as there's no cold contactor here, we will turn all these off before we lay this down. Of course, I could lay it back down on the floor again. Okay, now. Now that I don't have to yell at the mic because I can pull out my earplugs. <laughs> it's really good for taking stuff apart. Here I was just gouging in the plate, but it's really, really good for taking stuff apart. And it's kind of fun to play with it on 110. And we actually did it. I mean, with two, two little welders. Um, these, we'll put the links for these. Um, I've got links on other, other videos we've done before we special, but we'll, we'll put the links on there for the Art Captain welders. I really was, the biggest thing I was impressed with these is they're easy to start when you go uh, with a stick rod. Bird is just learning to weld and it was, it was easy, set at 80 amps um, on 110 volt so that won't trip your 20 amp breaker and he was able to start the 332 7018 rod. We're not, not using big rod. Um, so he was able to weld with it. And you can weld with the other ones with 332 also on a 20 amp breaker. It's just that these others, the Vivor is easier to start than the uh, Yes welder. Um, they all weld fairly well, but it's just this one here started better. And that's, that's one of the big key things to a, a welder is getting your arc started. It was just a little bit warmer on the startup. But that also was with it adjusted. There's an adjustment for, um, for your arc start. I had the arc start cranked up to 100% on it. And I did that on the others when I tried them too. It's just they didn't help as much. We were talking about the carbon arc and did not work on 110 with one of the arc captain welders, which you're really not supposed to be carbon arcing with two of them, I don't think, anyway. But it worked good. It worked good on 110. Um, but we're going to try it now because I just hadn't thought about that at first. We got 220 here. So now we've hooked one of them up to 220 and we will see if it will carbon arc okay. happy as it was on 110 with two welders but it did it it was a little harder to start it uh, just getting a little cold in there some of the time just not quite as much with one welder the two welders at 110 was a little nicer but uh, yeah cheap way to carbon arc 100 and 119 I think something like that I forget not much not much a lot of little welder <laughs>